Good morning, babies, and welcome to Simply Stacy, where the joy of the Lord is our strength. But, well, babies, I pray you got your joy today. I want to use a metaphor today. Take time to pee. You know how you be at work or you be at home or you're busy and you're doing all types of things. And you know you got to go to the bathroom, but you don't even want to take those couple of seconds to go pee. Now, men are a little different than the females. They can't hold as long as we do most of the time. But you have to take time to pee. I want to use that metaphor as far as things in your life. You don't take time to relax. You don't take time for the things of God. You don't take time to read your word. You don't take time to fast. You don't take time to pray. You know with God, we need to stay plugged in. You know how your computer, if you don't plug it in, it dies and just shuts down? I know you don't had this happen to you before. Like all the juice is gone. No matter what you do, that's it. Some of you, the juice is gone because you ain't stay plugged into God. And you're wondering what's going on with your life. You have to stay plugged in. You have to take time to pee. Relieve yourself. Relax. Get plugged into God so you can get rejuiced, rejuvenated. Right now during this season, I like to talk about depression because so many people are depressed. You know how all these Christmas movies is on and they all talk about the Christmas spirit. Yes, it's a Christmas spirit out here, all right, and it's not always good. Spirit is the key word. What spirit is it? What is behind the Christmas spirit? You know, some of you are so depressed because you can't buy gifts for your children. You can't buy gifts for your family members. You don't have money to buy food. So stressed out. Over this holiday season, take time to pee, relax, breathe. If you're there loving your family, you're there taking care of them day after day after day after day and doing what you need to do as a woman, as a man. That's a gift right there. That's a blessing. That's an honor and a privilege right there. Babies, just exhale, breathe. If you're not plugged into God like you're supposed to, re-plug yourself into God. Get charged up. Plug yourself back into faith. Plug yourself back into joy. Plug yourself back into the love of God. Plug yourself in and get the juice because some of you are so drained. So drained because you haven't taken the time to pee. Take the time to pee. Go, go, go. Relieve yourself of some of these things that's going on in your life that's unnecessary. They're toxic. You know, we go pee, we're getting the toxins off our body, we're, we're releasing, relieving ourselves. Go relieve yourself. Go relieve yourself. Get the toxins out. Get the toxins out. Go relieve yourself. Take the time to pee. That means... Take the time to get the toxins out your body. Take the time just to be still. You know, when you're holding yourself and you don't want to, you know you got to pee bad and it's really hard, you got to go pee. But you're fighting because you're trying to get all this other stuff done first. Just take the time and go pee. Just do it. Just do it. Whatever it is that you need to do, just do it. Stop worrying about all these other things and just do what you need to do first. That pressing matter. When you got to pay, it's a pressing matter. You need to go do it. So some things in your life is pressing matters that you need to do immediately. Stop putting them off. That'll relieve some of your stress. You know how when you go pay, you is relieved. I know somebody might not like this metaphor, and I'm sorry, but I'm, I just, just came in my spirit today. To give this metaphor about relieving yourself. Because some of you are so much under pressure. And you know you are, but you won't take the time just to relieve yourself. Of, just won't even take that long. It could be just a word in your mouth. Your deliverance is in your mouth. Just speaking it. It might just be a piece of paper that can relieve you of your stress. But just relieve yourself. Don't keep holding it. Just relieve it. Loose it. Let it go. Let that thing go. Let that thing go. Get the pressure off yourself. Get the pressure off yourself. And some of you that are depressed, I'm going to tell you, I got some people that's not saved that watch my videos. And there's some people that are saved watching my videos. And I'm going to tell you, 
It's a lot of people that's out here that's addicted to drugs and alcohol. Alcohol is a downer. downer. Drugs is down. You already depressed. Why are you going to drink something and take something that's going to bring you down even more? Stop it. Stop it. Give up that bad habit. It's not helping you. It's not helping you. You drinking and doing drugs is not relieving you of any issue that you have. It's making more issues. So relieve yourself of that thing and let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Babies, I love you and so does God. I want you to have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day, wonderful week, wonderful life, wonderful month. And just get plugged into God. And if you're already plugged into him, just continue to stay plugged in. Don't disconnect from God because you're going to lose your juice. That's why some of you like mm, moving real slow and you don't know what to do. And your mind is tossed to and fro because you need to get plugged into God. You need a fresh rain of word. You can't live on old stale bread. You got to get fresh bread daily. Daily, you got to get that bread. Daily. Your daily bread. Some of you ain't had daily bread in honey. Lord knows when. Lord knows when. Even though you go to church and the preacher preacher, he ain't even give you no fresh daily bread. You need daily bread. Fresh bread. Fresh rain, my word. Babies, I love you and so does God. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Smooth the sugar workers and take the time to relieve yourself of things that are toxic in your life. Take the time to smell the roses, as they say. Take the time to recharge and rejuvenate yourself, to get plugged in. And a lot of you that say that are helpers and out there as givers and helpers, you have to do self-care on yourself. You have to keep yourself juvenated and charged up. How you going to charge somebody else? How you going to help somebody else? If you ain't helped yourself first, just like on an airplane, the airplane going down, anybody that done flown on a plane, you already know. They tell you, put the mask on yourself first, then go help other people. Because how you going to help somebody else when you ain't even getting no oxygen? Babies, I love you and so does God. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Smooth your sugar, Wilkers.